Today, two of Charleston's most popular beachfront cities discussed a hot button topic with residents. Out of the Palms of Fowley Beach have short term rental discussions on the agenda. News 2's Emma Charles joins us live with more on how these cities are cracking down on this issue. Good evening, Emma. Yes, here on the Isle of Palms, the city is asking the South Carolina legislator to keep short-term rental laws local. As the low country popularity grows, so does the desire for short-term rentals. South Carolina has introduced a bill several times that would have statewide laws for short-term rentals. Isle of Palms Mayor Philip Pound says they need to be able to have different laws depending on the town. Let each community decide for itself what needs to happen. If you put a statewide law in place, you know, what happens at the beach versus what happens in Clemson versus what happens in Aiken, each community is very different. Each beach community is very different. So we just want to have the flexibility to, to decide for ourselves what's good and best for our community. Last year, the Isle of Palms referendum to cap the number of short-term rentals failed. Mayor Pounds tells me residents asked for stronger enforcement of rentals, which they strengthened this year. You know, what came out of the referendum and some of the work last year was we added code enforcement personnel that we had not had before to, because we heard very loudly and very clearly from the residents, it's about enforcement, whether it's noise or parking or, you know, there's people limits, there's all kinds of ordinances on the book. Last year, Folly Beach capped their short-term rentals at 800 after residents voted to limit the number allowed in the city. Now, anyone who would like to own a short-term rental has to apply and is put on a wait list. Folly Beach Mayor Tim Goodwin explained their process is first come, first serve. Just, they developed a wait list, and uh, as people move off or give up their license or lose their license or whatever, um, and an opening comes open, and if you're the next on the wait list, you get an opportunity. If you're not ready to be on the, to get your license right then, then we go to the next person on the list, and you go to the end of the line. That's the way it's kind of set up. You can read the Isle of Palms complete opposition on the city's website. On Isle of Palms, Emma Charles, count on two.